So for like, I don't know, maybe eight years now, I've been planting these trees out here, for Christmas trees. And one of my favorite things to do on the farm is to give Christmas trees away. So every year, I just, whoever needs a Christmas tree, like I just grow them, I don't sell them, I just give them away. And a lot of times I have friends out here and I'm, I always say to them, like, just pick a tree, pick any tree. That That is your Christmas tree. When it's ready, like, we'll cut it down, you can take it to your house. Um, a few years ago, Pete asked me to pick my favorite tree. Uh, I said to her, I said, pick a tree. Like, pick any tree. Like, they were all small, right? Like, pick a tree and in several years, that's gonna be your Christmas tree, right? And so she picks this tree. It's the worst tree of all the trees. This is the worst tree you could pick. It is the scrawniest tree. Insects have devoured it. The tree is essentially dead. And I got to pick whichever tree I wanted and I picked like the most gnarly, just kind of sad tree. It was like the Charlie Brown tree. It was kind of crooked and all of his limbs were really sparse and just um, very thin. I'm like, why would anybody pick that tree as their tree? She picks it, so I mark it, put her name down, I'm like, all right, that's your tree. I don't know why, I think I, I per tend to pers uh, personify things that don't actually have feelings, and to me, that, that day the tree wanted me to pick it, and so ever since then, um, we've been watching, we marked the tree, and then ever since then, I've been watching it kind of grow, uh, struggle to survive and get really full and it turns out it's okay and I'll be darn if like the next year like in the spring that tree started to like get life I'm like I, I could have sworn that that tree was dead I'm like I'm actually gonna have to reach out to her and tell her that her tree is gonna make it like it might actually survive and he's full, he's a little crooked and leans to the side, but I love it. I think it's such a fun, simple story of overcoming and that even the little scrawny ones can have a good life. And here we are like five years later and this tree, I think it's beautiful. It's not perfect. None of my Christmas trees out here are perfect. It's beautiful, it's huge. And it's actually gonna be our Christmas tree this year. Every time you cut down a tree that you planted it's special but this this tree is going to be really special So I'm really excited about this. I'm excited about cutting down this tree. I'm excited that this tree um, is gonna be our Christmas tree in our house. It has a lot of meaning to me because when I think about Jordan, she's someone who sees potential in anything. Like the things that everybody else would pass up on and say, that won't work, that's dead, that won't make it she's attracted to the least of these, right? And she somehow believes in things and then somehow they just flourish, they make it. And this Christmas tree is a great example of how you should never stop believing in something. And uh, it's gonna be beautiful.